For the 48th consecutive year, the Memphis chapter of the National Football Foundation and College Hall of Fame is honoring a special group of high school seniors, plus an athlete from the University of Memphis and Rhodes College. We recognize these young men first and foremost for their academic accomplishments, their service to community, and also their performance on the football field. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we can't be together to celebrate your accomplishments in person with our traditional Scholar Athlete Awards Dinner, but we hope this recognition will still serve as a meaningful recognition of your success. Of course, these young men haven't reached this point in their lives without the support and encouragement of their parents, coaches, and school leaders who have nurtured them through four years of high school, who have helped these young men succeed, to all of you, we say thank you and congratulations on a job well done. Before we introduce this year's class of scholar athletes, we hope you'll enjoy the following video as we tell you about the importance of the National Football Foundation and College Hall of Fame. I think the greatest thing about football is the lessons it teaches you, the values you learn that are beneficial to you. Here's Manning, back to pass. When you get hit, you get back up and you continue to strive to reach for that goal line. Well, it's just like that in life, too. You, know, you get knocked down, you get back up, and you continue to strive and reach for the goals that which you set for yourself. I tell you, in tough times and in good times, uh, football has, has been the backbone of much of my success. You look at the game of football and you realize that in many ways it's a metaphor for the American psyche, who we are, what's important to us. What makes America great? And you look and say, you know, the sport of American football hasn't exactly exported around the world. And when you look at the fact that we are the number one GDP in the entire world with 26% of the world representative of what happens in the United States of America, if you think I don't believe that football has something to do with that, um, God bless America. At the National Football Foundation, we build leaders through football. I think there's so many people that are leaders in our country, leaders in our society, who did play football, and you'll always hear them reflect back on their football days and, and, and the lessons they learned there. Football has been such an important part of my life and really shaping me in so many ways. Had it not been for this game, would you really know what it's like to face adversity? Would you really know what it's like to be pinned down? And how do you listen and get over yourself of making yourself the most important person out there where you truly understand how to become a member of a team? The tough lessons about football have guided my decisions in business. Uh, trust, love, and commitment is the, the motto on our national championship ring in 88 at Notre Dame. Can I trust you? Do you care about me? And are you committed to excellence? If I can answer those three questions in the affirmative about anyone, whether it's at home, uh, whether it's someone I'm doing business with, I know I'm dealing with somebody who's a keeper. The National Football Foundation is the biggest advocate for football in general. Part of our mission in the National Football Foundation is to make sure every aspect of the public recognizes that overwhelming majority of the young men who play the game of college football do it for the right reasons, they do it the right way, and they're able to both infuse the game with their own values and take from the game the important values that, that the game of football can provide for them. This organization started by General MacArthur, Red Blake, and Grantland Rice. We stand for what's good about the game of football. There's a lot of good people out there and good, good things that go on with kids that play football, and I think we recognize them. And especially, uh, I'm proud of the fact that we recognize the scholar athlete. When we pick our scholar athletes, you were exposed to, to literally hundreds of spectacular young men, and you'd say, any one of them, I'd love to have as a son. And, and to embrace him and say, I am so proud of what you're doing, not just as a football player, but with the rest of your life. You celebrate those values that, that you believe are important to you. And, and what we spend time and invest in are the things that people understand is important to us. Um, that Campbell Trophy is all about uh, promoting and extolling the virtues of, the, of the, the highest and best of all of us. And that is balancing the interest of this sport, playing well on the, on the field, but at the same time understanding that the long-term play, the true game of, of life, is, is all about excellence off the field. 
That's the type of individual that's going to help us have a better country in which we all live in. And I always admired the fact that the uh, National Football Foundation recognized the high school seniors and they honor high school seniors uh, with scholarships. And I love the fact that the numerous amount of chapters that the National Football Foundation has recognizes those high school seniors as well. We reward kids starting at high school with our chapter program and our all the scholar athletes scholarships that we give to needy kids the ones that do this great job of balancing that football time and that academic requirements we honor those kids and those are the ones that turn out to be you know great leaders and great people in our society I think the College Football Hall of Fame is extremely important to the foundation. The College Football Hall of Fame really keeps the legacy of football, uh, whether it's through the great players that played the game, the great leaders in our country that have been impacted by the game, keep you up on current issues going on in college football. It's a huge part of football in itself. These are our icons from the past. Let's honor them. Because by honoring them, we honor the game today and we honor the game of the future. We've been in other places, but we got a great place and a great city and an unbelievable Hall of Fame that people are just flat going to want to see and, and go through. I think the National Football Foundation will have a, a big impact on the future of football because the National Football Foundation is always going to be out front leading the charge to keep the game going, to promoting the game of football, making sure that people understand uh, the value of playing the game of football and the, and the values that playing the game of football brings to individuals. I'm all about promoting uh, the benefits of this sport uh, to the kids who play it, uh, to the families who support it, uh, to the communities who enjoy it. It's a lot bigger than just guys running into each other on a football field over an uh, inflated pigskin. It's just gratifying to be part of something that does something good for young people. But we're always looking for uh, more areas where we can do good and more people we can help and more ways we can just promote the game of football and the great game that it is. Now let's meet this year's class of scholar-athletes. First, from St. Benedict at Auburndale, Dante Carrasco, a safety-wide receiver. On the academic side, Dante had a 3.7 GPA and a 31 ACT score. He was a member of the principal's honor roll all four years, also selected a high school Heisman Scholar-Athlete Award winner. On the football field, his honors include All-Metro, All-Region. He was also a team captain for St. Benedict, and he was selected to play in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl All-Star Game. In the community, Dante received the DAR Good Citizen Award, and he has accepted an appointment to the U.S. Naval Academy. Tommy Clifton from Millington High School is our next scholar athlete. Tommy played quarterback, running back, and linebacker for the Trojans. Clifton had a 3.7 GPA, a 21 ACT score, member of the National Honor Society and the Beta Club. With his football team, he was selected team captain. He was voted All-Region and All-State and also played in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl All-Star Game. In the community, Tommy was very active in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. In fact, he served as president of the chapter there at Millington High School. Also participated in the Rotary Youth Leadership Award program. And he will continue his academics at Harding University in Searcy, Arkansas, where he will also play football. Isaiah Hemingway from MLK College Prep is our next scholar athlete. Isaiah played both offensive and defensive line at MLK. Isaiah had a 3.4 GPA, also an honor roll student. He was a team captain for the football team, selected all region, also played in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl All-Star Game. In the community, he was a MLK prep ambassador and also a leader of the Frazier men's group. And we wish Isaiah the best as he continues on. Our next scholar athlete is Austin Hill from Evangelical Christian School. Austin played linebacker at ECS. 
outstanding academic record with a 4.3 GPA and a 29 ACT score. He's a member of the National Honor Society, National Honor Thespian Society, and the National Social Studies Honor Society. Austin helped lead ECS to the state championship this past year. He was voted All-Region, All-State, Commercial Appeals Best of Preps, also Mr. Football in the state of Tennessee, and he was selected to play in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl High School All-Star Game. In the community, Austin very involved with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and was selected the winner of the FCA's John Bull Bramlett Award. Austin has accepted an appointment to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, where he will also play football. Our next scholar athlete is Nick Johnson from Brighton High School. Nick played quarterback and punted for Brighton. Nick had a 3.6 GPA, a 23 ACT score, and is a member of the honor roll there at Brighton. In football, Nick passed for more than 5,000 yards and 44 touchdowns during his career. He was selected All-District and also played in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl High School All-Star Game. In the community, Nick volunteered for the Brighton Buddies Mentoring Program and also with Special Olympics. Our best wishes and good luck to Nick. Our next scholar athlete is Carrington Kelsey from Briarcrest Christian School, where he played safety, linebacker, and running back for the Saints. Carrington had a 5.3 GPA, a 33 ACT score. He's an AP scholar, a national Honor Society member and also Mu Alpha Theta. In football, he was selected a team captain, voted all Metro, all region, also played in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl High School All-Star Game. He is also student body president at Briar Crest, participated in Memphis's Joy Prom program and also Las Americas volunteer program. Carrington will continue on to Georgia Tech where he will major in mechanical engineering. Our next scholar athlete is Caleb Myers from Cogerville High School. Caleb kicked and punted for the Dragons. He has a 3.8 GPA and a 33 ACT score. Caleb was a member of the National Honor Society there at Cogerville. On the football field, one of the top kickers in the Memphis Shelby metro area, 20 field goals, PATs, get these numbers, 82 of 89, outstanding. Selected all district, all region, played in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl High School All-Star Game. In the community, Caleb participated in the Young Life Program and also volunteered with Best Buddies. Caleb, good luck. Next up is Miles Neely from Harding Academy. Miles played quarterback and defensive back for the Lions. He has a 4.1 GPA, a 32 ACT score, also Mu Alpha Theta. In football, team captain, team MVP, voted all Metro, all region, all state, played in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl High School All-Star Game, president of the student government program there at Harding, president of the Science National Honor Society, also active in FCA, where he was a finalist this year for the Bull Bramlett Award. And Miles will continue on at the University of North Carolina with a major in business administration pointed towards a pre-law academic line of study. Next up, Lincoln Perry from Houston High School, where Lincoln played running back for Houston, had a 3.4 GPA, a 26 ACT score. With the football team, he was a team leader, voted team captain. All Metro, all region, all state. Also was the AutoZone Liberty Bowl Touchdown Club of Memphis Offensive Player of the Year and also selected to play in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl High School All-Star Game. Lincoln is the all-time leading rusher at Houston with 2,800 yards and also the leader all-time at Houston in touchdowns with 38. In the community, Lincoln has been very active and supportive with the Germantown Youth Football League, and he will continue on at Arkansas State, where he will play football for Coach Blake Anderson and the Red Wolves. Next up, Chase Townley from Hardin County High School. Chase played linebacker and tight end there at Hardin County. Academically, he has a 4.0 GPA, a 31 ACT score. He is a Duke Tip Scholar, 
salutatorian of his senior class, also received the Scholastic Athlete Award with for the highest GPA there at Hardin County. In football, leader on the defense, he was voted all-region. Very active with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, also with student and government there at Hardin County. Chase will continue on in college to CBU, where he will have a double major in electrical engineering and computer sciences. Our final high school scholar athlete is Stephen Walker Jr. from Freedom Prep Academy, where he played linebacker. Stephen has a 3.8 GPA and a 21 ACT score. He's a member of the National Honor Society and also was the recipient of the Scholar Athlete Award there at Freedom Prep. Stephen voted all Metro, all district, was a leader on the defensive side, in fact, led the team in tackles this past season. In the community, Stephen volunteered with his church, where he's also a member of the church choir, and he also participated in the REACH Memphis program. In addition to our 11 high school scholar athletes, we also recognize a player and student athlete from both the University of Memphis and Rhodes College. First up is Brady White, quarterback from the University of Memphis. Brady was a COSIDA first team academic all district selection, also selected to the American Athletic Conference all academic team. Brady was on the Dean's list there at the University of Memphis and also a member of the Tigers 3.0 club for four consecutive semesters. He graduated last August with his master's degree in sports commerce and of course on the football field. Brady led the Tigers to the American Athletic Conference Championship this past year and a trip to the Cotton Bowl. And our final scholar athlete is Monroe McKay from Rhodes College. Monroe played running back for the Lynx. Monroe is a biology major at Rhodes with a 3.86 GPA. And get this, he was a semifinalist for the William V. Campbell Trophy, which is presented by the National Football Foundation to the nation's outstanding college football player who has the best record for academics, community service, and performance on the field. Monroe was a team captain for Rhodes this past year, rushed for over 1,000 yards, averaging 4.3 yards per carry. He's a member of the Dean's List, was voted to the Conference Honor Roll for Academics, and also the COSIDA Academic All-District Team. So congratulations to Monroe and all of our Scholar Athletes for 2020. All of us with the Memphis chapter of the National Football Foundation greatly appreciate the support and generosity of this year's scholarship donors. The AutoZone Liberty Bowl, Eric Bartels and 901 Financial Group, Wanda and John Barziza, Jason Yarbrough and Butler Snow Law Firm, Michael Ongo and City Gear, Dr. Gary and Jane Kimsey, Don Stewart State Farm Agency, Mr. and Mrs. Jack Moore, ML Logistics Group, Greg and Tony Parker, Nelson Family Foundation, Strategic Resource Management, Retran, Reynolds Bone and Griesbeck CPAs, Watkins Uberall, and Randy and Nancy Williams family. Thank you to each of these generous donors. And here's a special note to our scholar athletes and their families. Now that you are a National Football Foundation and College Football Hall of Fame scholar athlete, each of your names will be on display at the College Football Hall of Fame in Atlanta. We ask and encourage you to join the National Football Foundation. The annual membership dues is $40 or a three-year membership is $99. One of the perks of membership is voting each year for the College Football Hall of Fame. To join or get more information, go to our website, nffmemphis.com. And in closing, again, a big congratulations to our class of scholar-athletes. We wish you all the best in your college careers.